Sometimes that takes a couple years to get that bond and that every single ball deal. And these guys work tirelessly to get the same ball. Uh, and really to get the same ball, when I say same ball, if you're looking at field goals, get that same ball down. And the only way you're going to get it down with no laces, you know, no, no spinning is you just got to work, 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 work. And, and they're, really, uh, they're really taking off. And it was, at first you have to work through those things because it's completely different guys working together. And uh, I think they've done a great job of it. And they've really been accepting of each other and accepting of each other what one guy can do and what another guy can do. And they went and merged it. But they're demanding from each other, which is what I like. You know, they're not, hey, it's okay, it's okay, my bad. You don't hear any of that. You know, enough is enough's enough after one or two bad reps, and let's get this thing going, whoever, whoever it is that day. And that's what I like about those guys. They push each other, but they do it the right way um, to help our team produce. Those guys talk often about you just being in the lab all the time, coming up with new new things, just trying to create new things, come up with new things. Obviously, we saw the kickoff yeah. thing last year that, right. <laughs> that, that happened. Um, I guess how much time do you just like think, do you brainstorm? How, what's your process? No, you know, what my process is, is I'm more of the, I'm gonna watch it, and if I see it, then I'm gonna attack leverage. So if I see a, a leverage breakdown in an opponent, I'm gonna try to attack that. If I see a something that's gonna allow us to create leverage, such as hang time, which is leverage, um, or kicking the ball to a red line. If I find a technique or a way to put a ball on a tee, then I think that we owe that to our organization and to our players to experiment with it. And that's the that's the thing that I like with these guys is, I'll say, hey, you wanna try to hit a banana ball? You wanna hit this? And they hit it, and if they can really, really hit it consistently, then we stick with it. If they can't, we move forward and we find something else. And they like that. I know the uh, league seems to be trying to try to get rid of kickoff returns in general. Um, I have to imagine you're probably not thrilled with that, with that development. I mean, what, yeah, where do you see the? Where, I guess where do you see the future of the kickoff going? I think we're going to always have kickoffs. I think we're always going to have kickoff returns. I think it's just one of those things where, at the end of the day, the number one thing is player safety, and I do agree with that. And as special teams coaches, I want to protect these players no different than everybody else. Do I want to eliminate the kickoff? No, but if you can come up with a rule that protects them and we still are allowed to kick off and tackle, and I'm all for it. And no different than the fair catch rule this year or any of the other changes, the eight in the box, what we call the box, you know, two, three years ago that special teams coaches came up with. I think the guys aren't going to let this play die. Um, there's too many great kickers. You know, there's too many great returners, and it's how you start every single game, you know, and so I think it'll always be in the game to answer your question, but I think that we're going to have to make adjustments, and we're doing it for the right reason, for the player safety. It seems like they have kind of ruined onside kicks. I mean, um, is, is, that, is, that, is that, nobody seems to get them anymore. I guess, is that just the development? Is it something to change there? I guess, where do you see that? No, I think that we just need to keep trying to find, like you were saying, get in that lab and find that kick, you know, and... Once one of us finds it, everybody will, that, that percentage will go up and then we'll learn how to stop it. So I like that part of it. I like the, the schematic part of it. I, I want to learn from other coaches. I hope that I can find that one kick when we need it. I hope that we have it, to be honest with you. I hope in our lab we have the kick that we need. But um, no, I think that the onside kick will. I think it, the percentage may flip and then it may go the other way.